What's going on everybody? My name is the Francois. I'm the community manager here at 1.37 p.m. And today we're going to be taking a look at setting ourselves up so that we can start buying, selling, and trading NFTs. In order to get started, we're going to need some sort of wallet to host our Ethereum so that we can purchase NFTs on one of the marketplaces. I want to mention uh, before we get started here, I will be using MetaMask and also we'll be looking at OpenSea. However, there are other wallets and there's also other NFT marketplaces worth looking at. In the description below, I have linked an article to the eight best NFT marketplaces uh, that you can find out there. So definitely give that a look because there are other marketplaces outside of OpenSea. All right, so in order to get started, what we're gonna do is set up MetaMask as an extension on our Google Chrome browser. So make sure you open Google Chrome, and if you don't have Google Chrome, make sure you download Google so that you can use this extension. What we're gonna do is search MetaMask extension. From here, we're gonna add this to Chrome. Click add extension. Next, we're gonna click get started. What we're gonna do is create a new wallet and create a password for yourself. After you have your password created, check that you've read and agreed to the terms of use. Make sure you actually read the terms of use and go ahead and click create. You can go ahead and click next on this page. It's basically informing you about the next step in this process, which is going to be a recovery phrase. You want to make sure you have a pen and paper ready so that you can write down this recovery phrase. You don't want to keep it digitized. You want to make sure that you're writing this down and keeping that piece of paper somewhere safe that you can remember. So go ahead and click next. And what you're going to do is click here to reveal the secret words and make sure you write them down and store it somewhere safe. Immediately after that, it will ask you to confirm your secret phrase. So make sure you go through this and confirm what you have written down is correct once you confirm your secret phrase it'll tell you congratulations and you can click all done once you have it set up you'll notice that on the top right of your google chrome browser you have a new little metamask icon this is how you can quickly access metamask it's a browser extension so every time you click on this it will open up that metamask and you'll notice that you have zero eth right now zero ethereum in order to get some ethereum into your wallet you'll need to click the buy icon here what you can do is buy Ethereum with this wire here that will allow you to use your debit card to buy Ethereum straight into the um, MetaMask wallet. You can use the Transact to transfer Ethereum from another wallet, or you can transfer from Coinbase or Gemini using the directly deposit Ether option here. And the way you do that is from using the wallet address or using the QR code from another wallet to deposit directly into your MetaMask wallet. Now that you have your MetaMask wallet set up, we're ready to head over to OpenSea so that we can start buying and trading NFTs. Keep in mind what I mentioned earlier, OpenSea is not the only NFT marketplace out there. In the description below, we have linked an article to what we believe are the eight best NFT marketplaces out there right now. We're gonna head over to OpenSea and we're gonna get our MetaMask wallet set up with OpenSea so we can start buying it and trading. Let's do it. All right, so head over to OpenSea.io. We're gonna go over to our profile. And from here, we can sign in using our MetaMask wallet. So go ahead and click sign in and connect with MetaMask. Now we're actually officially in our OpenSea profile. What you'll notice is that we don't have any NFTs collected currently. What you can do is go over to the settings on your profile and making sure we sign our wallet over to OpenSea. Now that your wallet's set up, you're gonna to wanna to go find a collection that you wanna buy from. So go ahead and start searching or browsing through uh, OpenSea and find some NFTs that you like. What I'm gonna do is filter it so that I can uh, see NFTs that I can buy right now. So I'll click this buy now button and then I'm gonna find an NFT that I want to purchase or that I think is rare and cool. I settled on the Marbles card 3175 Board 8 Yacht Club simply because I think this NFT is dope and it's fairly cheap for the sake of this video. So that kind of worked out really well. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and click buy now. Uh, now it's going to ask me to sign my wallet. Once your purchase has been processed, it will give you a confirmation of uh, whether or not it got completed or not. Now, if I go back to my profile, you'll see that I currently own this NFT. Now, if I choose to sell this NFT, what I can do is click the sell button here. I can set a price for it. So I'll just go with 0.02 here and I will complete the listing. 
you may get this message when you try and go to sell that nft in order to unlock trading you're gonna need to select the correct rpc or the blockchain in this case i gotta do the polygon network so what we're gonna do is head over to chainlist.org from here we're gonna connect the wallet i'm going to click next connect and in order to start trading i need to add the polygon to my metamask and then what I'll do is approve it um, with the MetaMask notification that pops up here. After that, I can go back to OpenSea, click unlock, and I will confirm that. This may take a few moments to unlock, so just give it some time. Once it's unlocked, we need to sign, and this will pop up with yet another window, and we'll click sign. After I've signed, my NFT is officially listed before we sign off i want to say thank you so much for watching this video if you were able to get your metamask wallet set up and ready to go be sure to leave a like and subscribe to this youtube channel if you ran into any issues as you were watching this video feel free to hop in our discord server which is also linked in the description below either our community or our nft team will be able to help you through that process there's obviously a lot more information when it comes to nfts and buying and selling nfts so make sure you keep tabs on the content that we create around nfts by subscribing to this youtube channel i want to thank you so much again for watching this video and we'll catch you in the next video peace